They wore suits and brought lawsuits. What's not to love? Suits may have been off the air for a few years, but the ensemble cast is getting a surge of recognition thanks to streaming. The show may be over, but these talented actors are still out there doing what suits them best. Playing Suits protagonist Harvey Specter was a career-defining role for Gabriel Macht, capping off an acting career that included numerous films and TV roles. After Suits ended its run, Macht only appeared on screen one more time, as Harvey, in one episode of the Suits spin-off Pearson. While Macht may have pressed the pause button on his acting career, he's no doubt busy at home with daddy duties. He and his wife Jacinda Barrett, to whom he's been married, married since 2004, have two children, one born in 2007 and another in 2014. Of course, as of September 2023, even if Macht did want to work, he and other Hollywood actors were sidelined due to the SAG-AFTRA strike. In fact, he referenced the strike in an Instagram post in which he marveled about the unexpected streaming success of Suits, saying, I'm humbled that the stories we created and produced for nine seasons have been watched and rewatched, and will continue to create memories for all who enjoy the fruits of our labor. I told you this before, I'm going to tell you again, I don't play the odds, I play the man. In the same post, he called for actors to receive larger residuals from the undoubtedly massive profits that success had been bringing to streaming services. Interviewed by Dish Network during production on the show's final season, Macht came to realize just how much of a hit Suits had become when he found himself recognized in various parts of the world when traveling. That's when it was like, oh my god, this is really hitting with, you know, the audiences. People get off on this stuff. For nine seasons, Canadian actor Patrick J. Adams played non-lawyer Mike Ross on Suits, the most successful project he'd been involved in at the time. Unlike Mocked, Adams wasted no time jumping to his next gig after Suits ended in 2019, portraying astronaut John Glenn in the 2020 TV series The Right Stuff chronicling the genesis of NASA's space program. Subsequent projects included the 2022 Prime Video series A League of Their Own, the feature film The Swearing Jar, and the miniseries Plan B. In Plan B, a Canadian drama produced for CBC, Adams plays a lawyer, an actual one this time, who becomes involved with a mysterious agency that offers its clients the possibility of traveling back in time to correct mistakes they've made in their lives. Anyone emerging from a seven-year coma and perusing Meghan Markle's IMDb page might wonder whatever happened to her, given that her acting credits end with suits. Anyone who wasn't in a seven-year coma knows that's because she landed a new role as the Duchess of Sussex after marrying Prince Harry. During the time she was dating Harry and still starring in Suits, her impending royal status did cause some conundrums for producers. As series creator Aaron Korsh told The Hollywood Reporter, he occasionally received word that the royals requested changes to Markle's dialogue, presumably to make it more befitting of a royal figure. I don't know what crawled up your ass today, but I take care of my business. Since her wedding, Markle has become one of the most famous people in the world, while generating a jaw-dropping array of headlines. In August 2023, an unconfirmed report, citing anonymous sources, claimed that Markle was looking to restart her acting career. Even if that were to happen, though, Suits producer Jean Klein was dubious that she'd be interested in joining a reboot. Sarah Rafferty became the favorite of many Suits fans for her portrayal of Donna Paulson, assistant and confidant to Harvey Specter. What were you thinking? I was pissed. You're so emotional. I lost my cool. You shouldn't have done that. Know. Like her co-star, Rafferty also likes to travel, and likewise experienced just how successful the show had grown outside of North America. She remarked in an interview with Cathay Pacific's Discovery magazine, You get off a plane in Australia and people know that you're Donna. I got off the plane in Ghana and the first thing I heard was, Hello Donna, welcome to Ghana. After Suits ended, Rafferty took on more screen roles. 
First, she stepped from a law firm into a hospital, appearing in a three-episode story arc in Grey's Anatomy, playing a patient whose symptoms flummoxed the doctors at Grey Sloan Memorial. After that, she shared star billing with Lucas Haas in the big-screen thriller Browse. In 2021, she joined Chicago Med in the recurring role of Dr. Pamela Blake, the new chief of transplant surgery. Rafferty maintained her friendship with co-star Meghan Markle after she embarked on her roller coaster journey as a British royal. That was evident when she was among the guests invited to Markle's wedding. Rick Hoffman provided plenty of comic relief on suits in the role of shady attorney Lewis Litt. What are you, killing seals? Would that it were? Rodents of the sea. After the Suits series finale, he revived Lewis for an episode of Pearson. His only other post-Suits role beyond that was a multi-episode stint on Showtime drama Billions as quirky physician Dr. Swerdlow. As Hoffman explained in an interview with Entertainment Focus, the opportunity to portray Lewis as the character evolved over the course of the series was both a privilege and a daunting task saying, It's scary as hell, challenging as hell, and then more times as not, rewarding as hell, when I feel like I'm proud of what's been done. Suits viewers may well see a whole other side of Hoffman when he stars in Thanksgiving, the top-secret slasher movie from horror director Eli Roth, set for release in November 2023. Gina Torres portrayed law firm partner Jessica Pearson on Suits for seven of the show's nine seasons, before stepping out on her own to star in her own spin-off series, Pearson. Torres has kept quite busy after the cancellation of Pearson, most notably starring in the Fox drama 911 Lone Star, in which she's portrayed paramedic captain Tommy Vega since 2021. While Torres certainly had a thriving acting career prior to Suits, playing Jessica has remained a high point for her. In fact, she told Entertainment Weekly that she took particular satisfaction in the fact that the role had originally been written for a male, but was adjusted specifically for her. You are an impressive woman. Oh, you don't know the half. Amanda Scholl joined Suits in the second season, playing attorney Katrina Bennett until the series' end in 2019. Post-Suits, Scholl has remained in demand as a TV actor, appearing in made-for-television movies including Romance Retreat, Project Christmas Wish, and 2023's The Blessing Bracelet, just to name a few. She's also guest-starred in multiple series, including 911 Lone Star, appearing in five episodes alongside Gina Torres. In terms of sheer longevity, however, Scholl played Katrina far longer than any other character, and saying goodbye to the role was not easy for her. She told Fansided, The type of show that this is, is not like anything I've ever done before. It's quick and it's smart. It's exciting and dynamic. What do you want? I want to help you get what you want. And what is that? She also praised the Suits fanbase, admitting she'd never before experienced the level of viewer appreciation she got from her role as Katrina. Wendell Pierce had built up a substantial roster of screen credits before joining Suits in the role of Robert Zane, lawyer and father of Meghan Markle's character, Rachel. Those included the prestigious HBO drama The Wire and the big-screen historical drama Selma. After Suits ended its run in 2019, Pierce remained an in-demand actor, with a recurring role in Chicago PD, starring in the film Don't Hang Up, and co-starring with John Krasinski in the spy series Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan. In 2022, he took on what may well be his most challenging acting role to date, playing beleaguered Willie Loman in a Broadway revival of Death of a Salesman. Dooley Hill was known for his roles in The West Wing, Psych, and HBO's Ballers before joining Suits in its seventh season. As he revealed in an interview with Dish Network, he was already a fan of the show before being cast as corporate attorney Alex Williams. He said, To be able to come and play a character that had a strong backbone and wasn't about to take any crap from anybody was thrilling for me. Well, not today, because I'm all in and you got nothing. So either add my name to your letterhead, or take your chips and go home. 
Since then, his career has remained as hectic as ever. In fact, immediately after Suits, he reprised his psych role in two TV movies, Psych 2, Lassie Come Home, and Psych 3, This Is Gus, and his West Wing character in a 2020 television special. In 2021, Hill was cast in ABC's reboot of The Wonder Years, portraying family patriarch Bill Williams in the 1960s set series. Rachel Harris had already built up an impressive collection of screen credits showcasing her skills as a comedic actor when she was cast as Sheila, wife of Louis Litt. First arriving in 2012, Harris appeared in 28 episodes of the series. You behaved unprofessionally. I never behave unprofessionally. Okay. Right. Ski mask and coconut oil? That was personal. As Harris's fans well know, at the same time she was appearing in Suits, she was also doing double duty on Lucifer as therapist Linda Martin, who counseled the fallen angel with his various personal problems. Other acting projects after Suits included guest spots on TV series such as Fantasy Island and The Sex Lives of College Girls. There was also the project That Got Away, an ABC pilot she shot with her best friend Cheryl Hines called Barracuda. Unfortunately, it was never picked up. Katherine Heigl was no stranger to television viewers when she joined the cast of Suits in its eighth season, in the role of the firm's new partner, Samantha Wheeler. That, of course, was due to her breakout role on Grey's Anatomy, several hit movies, and assorted TV projects. After playing Samantha for two seasons, the end of Suits sent Heigl in search of new roles. It didn't take her long to zero in on her next project, a CBS comedy pilot called Our House, which unfortunately didn't get picked up. She then starred in the indie thriller Fear of Rain, before starring opposite Sarah Chalk in the Netflix drama Firefly Lane. The series proved to be a big hit for the streamer before ending its run in 2023 after two seasons. Neil McDonough had a recurring role on Suits, appearing in multiple episodes as a prosecutor for the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, who becomes a trusted ally of Harvey and Mike. McDonough came to Suits with a hefty resume of film and television projects under his belt. Those ranged from the critically acclaimed TV police drama Boomtown, to 20-plus episodes of Desperate Housewives, to Damien Dark in the CW's interconnecting superhero shows. McDonough has racked up plenty of screen credits since Suits wrapped, too, including portraying Malcolm Beck in Yellowstone, General James Harding in Project Blue Book, and President Dwight D. Eisenhower in American Horror Story. In addition, like several other Suits alums, he's appeared in 911 Lone Star. It was the role of meth-making chemist Gail Bedecker on Breaking Bad that proved to be a breakout for veteran character actor David Costable. That high-profile performance propelled him to many more subsequent projects, including Suits. I'm sorry, I'm just getting up to speed. I'd like to establish my own facts. He played the recurring role of Daniel Hardman, an original partner in the firm who was forced out by scandal, but returned to attempt to wrest back control. Not surprisingly, Costable remained busy after Suits ended. That included portraying Motley Crue manager Doc McGee in the rock biopic The Dirt, starring in an episode of the anthology series Soulmates, and playing a judge in the TV miniseries Waco The Aftermath. His most notable role, however, has been Mike Wags Wagner on Billions, a role he took on while still involved with Suits, and continued to play throughout the series until its end in fall 2023. 